Welcome back. Joining us now is a powerful woman who immigrated here and has started her own business in the pursuit of representation. Welcome, Akruti uh, Culture Kazana. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Okay, and you brought someone special with you. Yes, that's my son, Ayan. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm going to start with you. We're talking all about Culture Kazana. So mm -hmm. what inspired you to start this? This yeah. <laughs> I immigrated when I was 16, and um, it wasn't an easy integration. 16-year-old, moving mm -hmm. countries. I felt like I was very different, and I went under a shell, and I remember those were difficult times. So when I had my son, I realized how important it was for me to share where his parents come from, our roots, our culture, but to do it in a way that's fun mm -hmm. that he feels proud of and he feels like his friends would want to get involved in. And that's when I started the company. It looked kind of different. It was an online bookstore, which I worked mainly with schools, libraries, and museums, and everything came to a halt with COVID. Mm -hmm. And I pivoted and I made the first puzzle you see over there, the Rangoli floor puzzle that um, it's a sand art traditional sand art that I grew up doing every single year for all holidays. And we couldn't do it here. Like, who's gonna put sand on carpet? So I turned it into a puzzle and then it evolved into now what you see here, a yeah. full toy company. And kind of explain to us your mission and what all that you provide. So everything started out of a need that I had as a mom mm -hmm. and that I wanted to fulfill for not just my child, but for the communities at large, for representing where we come from, but in a way that's fun, mm -hmm. it's authentic, it's accessible, meaning anyone anywhere can pick up a toy and have fun with it and learn something mm -hmm. and shareable. So for example, he feels so much pride in taking it to his classroom. And we started with a puzzle. We have a line of some puzzles here, which now has evolved into also some craft kits, because kids learn in different ways. Mm -hmm. And then now we have the color powder, which is for an upcoming holiday. Yes, uh, so we're preparing to celebrate and you want to represent Holy, so tell us about that. Holy, which is a festival of colors. Mm -hmm. It's on March 25th this year. It's to celebrate goodness, uh, victory of good over evil, colors, arrival of spring. And we used to celebrate it since he was born and the color powder that we use. So for Holy, it's a very vibrant festival. We throw colors on each other. Mm -hmm. When he was a kid, I realized, I don't know what he's inhaling. I don't know what he's putting in his mouth. I don't know what he's putting on his skin. And so that's when I started manufacturing our own, where these are non-toxic, they're 100% washable, they're biodegradable, mm -hmm. and they're all natural. So they're safe for children to play with. And I'm going into his school. I just did a workshop with Williamsville School District for their professional development day. I was in New York City for uh, a public school in New York City celebrating Holy. We're going all over the country, kind of taking the message of holy and the vibrancy. Well, I want to go over to you. Do you want to talk about what holy means to you and how fun it is? I just like holy because I just like the vibrant colors and share my culture with my friends. <laughs> what is the reaction when your friends get to play with you and you see them having fun doing something that describes you? Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome seeing your friends having fun being part of something that means so much to you and your culture and your family, right? Yeah. Now, you've received some major awards and recognition on media platforms. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Thank you. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, we won the FedEx Small Business Grand Contest in 2022, which uh, our company, well, I should say I, one <laughs> out of 10,000 people wow. who applied for that competition. We were the grand prize winner. And I heard about it, like they called me up five days after I had given birth to my daughter. I have a second child who's almost two years old. Wow. Um, so that was very special. Mm -hmm. I will never forget that. Then we've been featured on several media platforms. Last year, we had a big story that 
uh, uh, on Good Morning America. And we, I love that now, and thank you for this opportunity as well, where uh, everywhere in our culture, in our communities, in media, people want to hear our stories. People want to hear about different cultures. They want us to share that, and they want to learn, and they want to celebrate. So that's been, that's been uh, very gratifying, and I feel like I'm living my purpose every day. Yeah, you really are. And, you know, being a champion for underrepresented cultures and other powerful women in our community, what does that mean to you? It is an honor, and I just, I do my bit, but I know that there are other women out there who are also trying to do the same, and if there's anything that I can do to help, because at the end of the day, we gotta stick together. Mm -hmm. And I find a lot of support from other women, business owners um, who've helped in my journey, and I wanna give back mm -hmm. to that now. I want to be able to help someone who's starting their business, someone who's looking for avenues to share their story, to be able to kind of share the mistakes I made. Mm -hmm. I love it. I mean, obviously, this country is a melting pot, right? And I love it when people take time to not only represent uh, their community and their background, but share it with us, because that's what makes it so great. So thank you, and congratulations on your success. And viewers, you can learn more about all of the products and content by following them on social media or visiting their website at culturekazana.com. Thanks again for coming in, Akruti. Thank you so much.